Welcome to my channel. This is a channel dedicated not only to my 2012 Jeep Rubicon, but to Jeeps in general. And to us Jeep fans who just empty every pocket to keep our passion for our Jeeps alive. For those of you who don't know me, I live in Canada, eh? Edmonton to be exact. And for four months out of the year, this is what it looks like outside. The salt and sand have taken their toll on my OEM door hinges, and it's time to replace them. With Mopar hinges coming in at over a thousand bucks, I opted to hit up four wheel parts again. And they hooked me up with a set of Smittybilt stainless steel black powder coated door hinges. I was relieved to see that Smittybilt had wised up and not even bothered to include instructions of any kind for this product. <sighs> the hinges looked really good. The stainless steel construction is a must for my climate. And the black powder coat finish will match all the other Smittybilt products Ruby is sporting. The list of tools for this install is pretty small. The first thing I did was disassemble the hinges and apply a thin layer of white lithium grease. The actual install process of these hinges is pretty simple. I would be doing it one hinge at a time to simplify the alignment process. The hardest part was cracking the paint seal on the OEM hinges. Just make sure your T50 socket is nice and deep before applying enough pressure to break the paint seal. Once the torque screws were removed, to break the seal of the hinge, I just open the door and let gravity do the rest. Starting with the bottom, I remove the inner hinge. My inner hinge was free of corrosion, so all I did was clean it up a bit. If you do see any corrosion, I would strongly suggest a light coat of a good rust paint. To make your life a whole lot easier, make sure to line up the new inner hinge where the OEM ones were, then tighten it down. Unlike the inner hinge, my outer hinge had a little bit of corrosion. I sanded it with a fine grit sandpaper. I then masked it off and gave it a few light coats of rust paint. Once that was dry, I installed the outer hinge. Before proceeding to the top hinge, I did check the door latch for alignment. I will show what that should look like in just a few moments. For now, it's on to the upper hinge. This one was super tight. For whatever reason, the upper hinge had more corrosion than the lower. I scraped it off with a small flat blade screwdriver. Once satisfied, I sanded it with a fine grit sandpaper. I once again masked it and painted it with rust paint. Then I removed the inner hinge. When the rust paint was dry, I removed the mask and aligned the upper hinge. Again, it's quite important to get this new hinge lined up where the old hinge was. Use the wear from the OEM hinges to make this just a bit easier. I then aligned the door with the latch again and tightened the outer hinge screws with a T30 socket. The door was nice and free. It felt really smooth. I basically just duplicated the factory alignment, which had the door catch just above the center of the latching mechanism. So the installation of my Smittybilt stainless steel door hinges is now complete. And even though there were no instructions whatsoever, the install was super simple. There's only two tips I'd like to share with you. The first tip is to do this one hinge at a time. That makes door alignment super simple, even if you're doing this solo like I was. And secondly, install the inner hinges as close as you can to the factory mounting positions. Again, this will make aligning your door so much simpler. Trust me. Even though I'm really happy with the fit and finish and the overall look and feel of the Smittybilt hinges, I am going to keep my OEM hinges around. Even though they are in really bad shape, I'm planning on taking them to a powder coating shop, getting them sandblasted and redone. Now look, it's not that I don't trust or have any faith in the Smittybilt stuff. It's just 
like my environments, I'm a little salty. And my factory hinges lasted nine years and I'm just a little bit skeptical that these Smittybilt ones are gonna do the same. So I hope you liked my video on the installation of my Smittybilt door hinges. If you did, smash that like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. But for right now, I'm out of here.